Welcome back to the shop, my friends. Steve here at SKS Props, and I am back from Dragon Con. And after that insane detailed build of Gears of War leading up to Dragon Con, I needed to make something completely different. Luckily for me, Netflix put out their new One Piece live action show, and I saw Buggy's hat in episode two, and I knew I had to build it. Now, just like my other pirate hat, this hat is made completely out of my HD foam, which you can find over at Blick Art Materials. And if you want to continue to support me and what I do and this channel, be sure to pick up some HD foam from the links that are in the description section and those that are on my website. Every time you do, not only are you getting fantastic foam for cosplay, but you're supporting me, which allows me to continue to make awesome things like this and give you free PDF files. Now, is this hat 100% accurate? No, and what Dragon Con once again showed me is that cosplay is about having fun. It does not have to be 100% accurate. So if you wanna make something like this and go have fun with your friends, that is what you need to do. So put this hat together, go have fun with your friends or use it as a completely different pirate hat for a Ren Fest. who cares? Now, I wanna show you what it takes to put Buggy's hat together. Let's go ahead and get started. To start from the templates that I created, I'm going to take part A and transfer and cut that out of some 4mm foam four times. Note the registration marks. This is going to help line up the pieces to make the dome. Make sure to get out your respirator whenever heating or sanding foam. Weldwood contact cement is going to be applied to the edges of all of these pieces. After the contact cement is dry, the foam edges can be firmly pressed together. I like to start at the top and work my way to the bottom. That way the seams at the top of the dome come out great. After all four pieces have been assembled, I can then take my rotary tool and a sanding sponge and clean up the seams. Part B is going to make up the majority of this hat, and it's also going to be traced and cut out of some 4mm foam. The darts in the middle of the brim are going to go inside the dome. You may need to adjust the size of this so it fits your head properly. When lining up the dome, I make sure to offset my seams. Then I can glue the tabs to the inside of the dome using some Bob Smith super glue. With the brim attached, I'm now going to glue on a strip of 2mm foam, approximately 3 quarters of an inch wide and about 30 inches in length. Of course, trim away any excess foam for it to meet up in the back. Now I can glue together the darts that are on the sides of the brim. This foam when glued together will make the sides of the brim curve up. Using some additional strips of 2mm foam approximately half an inch wide, I'm going to cover these seams on the bottom and on the top. Also note that I'm curving the brim while I'm gluing these in place. This will help it retain the shape. Because the sides pinch in a little bit, I'm going to glue some additional 2mm strips on top. And don't worry, you're not going to see these in the end. They're actually going to be covered up by the wig later on. Using a pencil, I'm going to mark a placement line around the brim of the hat about half an inch down. I can then cut two strips of 2mm foam approximately an inch and 3 quarter by 32 inches. These are going to be glued around the brim to simulate an additional layer of trim fabric.
With the strips in place, I can now glue the back brim of the hat to the back of the dome. For the front, because I want it to stand out a little bit, I'm going to cut a cube out of 10mm foam. This is going to be glued to the front of the dome as a spacer. And you're not going to see this from the front because it's cosplay magic. Now because this hat is just foam, I want it to have an additional texture. So I heat up the foam with my heat gun and I press a coarse textured fabric into the surface. This is going to help emboss the foam and it's going to make it look a little more interesting than just being flat. Throughout this process you could also cover the foam with fabric as well. Now it's time to make the skull and crossbones for the front. I'm going to take my template and transfer that onto some 2mm foam. I can then mark where the skull and the bones are going to line up before cutting my template apart. The bones are going to be cut out of 6mm foam and shaped with my rotary tool. The skull is going to be cut out of 10mm foam. And after it's been rounded over, I can then take my pencil and start to mark on all the details. The nose is also cut out of some 10mm foam and rounded over before being glued into place. Describing the teeth and the eyes, I'm going to use a detail tip on my heat tool. Once again, be sure to wear your respirator. Super glue can now be used to glue all of these details onto the 2mm foam backing. With the skull and bones completely assembled, I can now glue this to the front of the hat. To seal the foam, I'm going to use some Plasti Dip and some Krylon Red Oxide Primer. And for my base color, I'm going to dust on some Valspar Satin Orange. Liquitex Heavy Body Cadmium Free Red and Orange are going to be mixed together to make up the majority of the color for this hat. This paint combination is going to be applied with a 1 inch mop brush over the entire surface. I changed the hue just slightly lighter, and I stippled this paint onto the hat. This is going to simulate a textured felt surface without actually having to use cloth. Liquitex Heavy Body Parchment can now be painted onto the trim details of the hat. The paint is pretty opaque, but it may take you two coats to get a nice consistent white. I could then go in with a detail brush and paint the sides of some of the 2mm strips.
For the background of the skull and bones, I'm going to use some Liquitex Brilliant Blue and mix that with some Mars Black. This is applied with the detail brush to the front and the sides of this piece. More Liquitex heavy body parchment is painted onto the skull and the bones. making sure to paint the sides of the bones and the individual teeth. The same blue of the background is painted above and below his eyes. Mars Black is used to paint in the eyes and outline the teeth. Cadmium Free Red is used to paint his nose. A little more Mars Black to clean up the eyes and the painting process is complete. I found a nice blue wig on Amazon that's going to work great for this project. I'm going to start by flipping the wig over and cutting the lining in half. And I'm going to cut it down even further to remove the black hair at the top. But by keeping the lining intact, it makes it a lot easier to work with. The inside of the wig is going to be hot glued around a block of 10mm foam. This is going to bulk the wig up a bit, but also give it something more substantial to glue to the hat. So with the side of the wig complete, some more high temp hot glue can be applied to the inside of the brim. The wig can now be firmly pressed on and held into place until the glue has a chance to cool. Now the length for the hair on the sides is really dependent on if you're watching the live action, the anime, or reading the manga. So I'd say cut it to the length that you want for your build. Then I was able to style the wig hair by adding a few small braids and rolling it with some gel. So you all can see the steps that I took to put together Buggy's hat from the new live action One Piece on Netflix. And again, it's all about having fun. Go to my website, download the PDF, it's absolutely free. Put this hat together and go run around and have fun with your friends at a con or a Ren fair. And if you are building any of my builds or utilizing some HD foam, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creations. Also, I started doing Maker Mondays once again and I just might feature your work. So until next time, build your best with the best. HD foam.